Hey guys, Diver Down here, and this is the new Orca Torch D530 handheld dive light. The folks over at Orca Torch sent a couple more lights for me to review, including this one, the D530. Uh, it's powerful enough to be a primary dive light for any recreational dive, um, boasting over a thousand lumens, and it's compact enough, as you can see, uh, where it can be used as a backup light. They also sent me a new D570 GL which has a green laser built in. That one looks pretty neat. I'll go over that one completely separately in a different video. Uh, the D530 is not yet available for purchase. Uh, this is a sample for testing, as you can see right here on the back. I don't know if you can read that. Sample, not for sale. Um, but perhaps by the time I do my in-water test video, it will be available. Uh, in fact, it came in a plain brown box, which suggests to me that Orca Torch has not yet uh, got their packaging that they want for this. Uh, so it may have different components with it uh, when you buy yours. Uh, mine came with the owner's manual and registration card for the warranty. You want to fill that out. It also came with a nice brochure, which shows you some of the other offerings that Orca Torch has some of their other lights, which is kind of nice. Came with three spare O-rings. I'll show you uh, this one as I take it down. It has three O-rings in it. It's nice to have spares. A USB charge cable. Lanyard, wrist lanyard. It didn't come with a charger because it has a USB port on the battery. So you can charge it right here. It's kind of neat. Take a look inside. Breaks down here in the middle, and as you can see, there are three O-rings. Positive side up, battery goes in positive side up, and then you close it. Those three O-rings will keep out all the water, and the water intrusion. Now we're gonna try a cold water battery test. We're gonna see how long the light will uh, shine in its high setting in fairly cold water. What we experience up here in Lake Superior is often pretty cold. This water is at 37, 38 degrees. I had it sitting outside my, my back door. And uh, I'm going to use my phone as a timer. I'm going to turn the, uh, the phone on, turn the light on. It's high setting. 1,050 lumens is what it's rated for. And it's supposed to give us an hour and 50 minutes uh, in the high setting. So I'm going to let this run for just shy of that. Here we're at 100 and, excuse me, one hour and 40 minutes. Uh, we're gonna stop it here and we're gonna see what the indicator tells us on the light switch. Again, the titanium alloy light switch has an LED. When the battery has a uh, 70 to 100% charge, it'll be green. When it's between 30 and 70%, that indicator will be orange. When the uh, battery is less than 30%, between 10 and 30 percent it'll be a constant red below 10 percent it starts blinking red so uh, let's see what the battery is um, at right now i'm pretty sure it'll be a solid red or a blinking red so here we are one hour 40 minutes just 10 minutes shy of the rating maximum rating the light's still on as you can see and it is a solid red so uh, we're anywhere between 10 and 30 percent battery right now that's that's pretty good for 38 degree water for it to last that long that's great so for my first dive with the orca torch d530 i'll be using it with this orca torch soft goodman handle which i picked up recently uh, comes in handy and uh, as you'll see it's got an impressive five degree angle beam it's uh, very tight focused and it, um, with that 1050 lumen rating it really reaches out
Overall, I like the design and the feel of this light. It fits nicely in your hand. And like my other Orca Torch lights, it's made with high quality, high strength aluminum. Uh, if you've been diving as long as I have, you probably owned one or two of those big brand plastic lights. They've been on the market for years and, and they were okay at the time. They worked fine. However, the newer dive lights are much higher quality and so much brighter than the older dive lights. This light measures under six inches in length. It weighs less than seven ounces. It doesn't take up a lot of room in your dive bag. It's pretty light, easy to travel with. And there's a lot of other specs that I could throw out at you, but I'm, I'm just going to put them in the links in the notes below. Um, including a link to Orca Torch website. I think I mentioned that earlier. I'll also include a link to Amazon where you can pick up a dive light if you have someone, uh, a scuba diver on your wish list for Christmas, for example. Um, there'll be some links down below for that. Now, if you haven't already subscribed, I'd appreciate if you do so. Leave a like if you like the video. Uh, leave a comment if you have any questions about the light. As always, guys, thanks for watching and uh, dive safe.